alaikum. Uh, this is uh, uh, the continuation of uh, our uh, previous lecture on uh, ECG. This is the second lecture. And uh, these are our learning outcomes as uh, we have uh, achieved uh, first two learning outcomes that is uh, the, about the ECG and uh, then explanation of the leads of ECG. Now we will discuss our third learning outcome and fourth one. Firstly third one, Enthoven's law. Enthoven's law, if we know the voltage of two bipolar leads, the voltage of third lead can be found by adding the remaining two leads. You can see there, two lead two is equal to the voltage of lead one plus the voltage of lead three. So when we add up the voltage of uh, two leads, we can uh, achieve the voltage of the other lead. So by adding the voltage of two leads, we can achieve the voltage of third lead. Here in this picture you can see here this is uh, the P wave, this is the QRS complex, this is T wave. Here you can see here P wave as P wave shows the atrial depolarization. You can see here the current comes into the atria uh, and there is activation of uh, atria. In uh, QRS you see that uh, the ventricles are activating in are activating position and in uh, T wave there is uh, the it shows uh, ventricular repolarization, so ventricles are uh, in recovery phase, are repolarizing from uh, contraction to again relaxation. And uh, these are uh, the normal uh, uh, heartbeat. You can see here from one R, from one R wave to an other R wave. And from this, this R wave, this R wave, all the R waves have same distance. All the R waves have same distance. About uh, three and a half small boxes. You can see here. Half, one, two, and three. So in each R wave, RR interval from one R wave to another R wave, this is the RR interval, these all have same small boxes, same number of small boxes. But here you can see here the RR waves come closer, the number of small boxes become less as compared to the above picture. Here you can see here two and a half number of small boxes between two R waves. One, two, and a half. This one is slowest. You can see here the RR waves are uh, widely apart. There are uh, the number of small boxes are more in number. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six small boxes. So this is slow heart rate. And in this case, you can see here the RR waves, uh, here the RR waves are closer, here widely apart, here intermediate. So there is random RR interval. So it is called irregular heartbeat. You can see normal heartbeat, fast heartbeat, slow heartbeat and irregular heartbeat depending which we can uh, determine by uh, determining, by calculating, by counting the number of small boxes between two R waves. This is again the ECG wave with segments and intervals. This is the U wave. You can see here after T wave, there might be U wave. Why there is U wave? U wave is uh, either due to the slow repolarization of uh, papillary muscles of the heart or 
uh, it may be due to hypokalemia. Hypokalemia means decrease in potassium levels. Okay, there are two reasons, hypokalemia or slow repolarization of papillary muscles. So now uh, we will discuss uh, uh, each wave uh, one by one. Firstly, P wave, it represents atrial depolarization, which occurs just before atrial contraction. The peak of P wave coincides with the time when cardiac impulse reaches the AV node. Its amplitude uh, is 0.1 to 0.2 millivolt and duration is 0.1 seconds. You can see here uh, 0.1 seconds as um, uh, 0 0.04 second um, is the time of one small box as you see in the previous lecture 0 0.04 so uh, when 0 0.04 uh, uh, is the time of one smallest box then 0 0.1 second is the time of 2.5 smallest boxes 0 0.04 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.02 so becomes 0 0.1 second which consists of 2.5 smallest boxes and the height of P wave is 0.1 to 0.2 millivolt. You will compare it with T wave in uh, the coming slides. The amplitude and duration of P wave will be compared with T wave. QRS complex uh, is uh, due to the ventricular depolarization uh, and its duration is uh, 0 0.08 to 0.1 seconds. That means 2 to 2.5 smallest boxes width. The width of QRS complex is 2 to 2.5 smallest boxes. Q wave is due to depolarization of upper part of ventricular septum and R wave is due to depolarization of lower part of uh, ventricular septum and apex of uh, heart. Uh, actually the ventricular septum, ventricular septum is uh, uh, the septum uh, between two ventricles between right and left ventricle so its upper part when depolarized it gives q wave and when its lower part depolarized activate it gives r wave and apex beat also gives r wave and s wave is due to depolarization of wall and base of the ventricle so these are the three parts of qrs complex and its time duration and uh, it is due to ventricular depolarization, very important. And this is T wave, this is the positive wave due to ventricular repolarization. Positive wave means that like uh, P wave is also positive. You can see in uh, the, your uh, uh, ECG, One minute. I will uh, show you what is the P wave. Uh, voltage. Voltage is uh, 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 millivolt. You can see uh, in um, uh, P wave that is 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 millivolt. So its uh, voltage is more than P wave. So its height is more than P wave. And the duration is uh, uh, 0.24 to 0.27 seconds that is 6 to 7 smallest boxes so its duration is also more than P wave so it is more wider than P wave and uh, uh, you can uh, see in uh, the ECG here you can see here the T wave is more wider P wave is less as compared to T wave because uh, yeah, as you have uh, seen uh, here the T wave has six to small uh, six to seven smallest boxes square duration, and the P wave has P wave has only two point five smallest boxes, and its amplitude is 0.1 to 0.2, so its height is less as compared to T wave, having a voltage is 0.2 to 0.3. As uh, you will see here, if we correspond from here to here, the T wave height is more because its amplitude is more that is 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 millivolt and this is the J point this is the J point J point uh, is actually when uh, uh, your uh, uh, S wave ends where the S wave ends and the ST segment starts ST segment this is the ST interval 
but uh, when the S wave ends and T wave starts, this is the ST segment. S wave, end of S wave to the start of T wave is ST segment. And uh, from the end of S wave to the end of T wave is ST interval. Interval has wave, segment doesn't have wave. So um, the J point is the point where S wave ends and ST segment starts. These are the segments uh, of ECG, PR or PQ segment, end of uh, segment is short. Uh, it starts from end of uh, P wave to the beginning of Q wave. Yeah, this is the PR or PQ segment, end of P wave to the end of P wave to the beginning of Q wave, to the beginning of Q wave. This is the point of beginning of Q wave. And this is the point of uh, end of P wave. So between these is PR segment or PQ segment. And this is the ST segment, end of S wave to the beginning of T wave. You can see here. End of S wave to the beginning of T wave. End of S wave to the beginning of T wave is ST segment. And uh, these uh, segments are uh, straight lines. So these are called as isoelectric points. These are isoelectric points. These are these waves are the deflections. P, Q, R, S and T wave and U wave are the deflections, are the waves and uh, ST, uh, PR segment and ST segments are the isoelectric points because they are the current remains same, iso. PR interval uh, between beginning of P wave and beginning of QRS complex. You can see here, beginning of P wave and uh, to the start of QRS complex. This point, PR interval. PR interval has wave. You can see here, uh, AV conduction is a uh, also included in uh, PR uh, interval whenever there is an AV block there is prolonged uh, PR interval and uh, on average it is uh, 0.16 seconds uh, ranging range is uh, 0 0.1 to 0.2 seconds range is 0.1 to 0.2 seconds and average is 0.16 seconds it's time duration because it is an interval And the PR interval uh, represents atrial depolarization plus conduction through AV node. It is very important. PR interval represents conduction through AV node. Very important. And there is also a delay at AV node. So you also know that what is AV nodal delay? You also know that, know that what is AV nodal delay? Because at the AV node, there is a delay of uh, uh, just about 0 0.05 seconds. Uh, this is because why there is a delay at AV node? Because there is a delay at AV node so that vent ventricles uh, can fill. Allow the time to uh, fill the ventricles. The significance of AV node is allow the time for uh, the ventricles to fill with blood. This is QT interval beginning of Q wave to end of T wave 0.36 to 0.4 seconds you can see here QT interval 
from Q wave to the end of T wave, Q T interval. So these are the intervals and segments. Now calculation of RR uh, interval. How RR interval can be calculated? Um, and the interval between two successive R waves, uh, it is equal to duration of one cardiac cycle, that is 0.8 seconds. From this, we can find out the heart rate. From RR interval, we can find out the heart rate. How? Um, th there is a formula that is uh, 1500. 1500 divided by number of smallest squares between two successive R waves. So you can uh, see here uh, 1500, yeah, there is the picture. Uh, in the previous uh, slides, I will show you this one. You can see here RR interval, there are number of smallest boxes. How many number of smallest boxes? Uh, you can count from here. Half, one, two, three. Three and a half in this uh, small box. Uh, five in this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So these in these three small boxes, there are 15 number of smallest boxes. And uh, three and a half here, three and a half here. So these are seven, seven, plus 15, three and a half, this one, half, one, two, and three. And uh, three and a half, this one, one, uh, half, one, two, and three. 3.5 this, 3.5 this, and five plus five plus five. And total one uh, becomes 22. So there are 22 number of smallest boxes between two R waves between two successive R waves, number of smallest boxes are 22. So, so divide 1500 by number of smallest squares between two successive R waves. So divide 1500 by 22, you will get your heart rate. Uh, and we can use this formula when heart rate is regular. In irregular heart rate, we cannot use this formula. In that case, we count the number of heartbeats in six seconds and multiply it with 10. This is the calculation of RR interval and uh, calculation of heart rate from the ECG. Oh, it is one uh, of uh, the significance of uh, ECG that we can find the heart rate. This is the one significance mm -hmm. and uh, how uh, we can uh, find uh, the um, rhythm. You can see here. For rhythm, this one, normal heart rate, fast, tachycardia, slow heart rate, bradycardia, and this is irregular, okay? This is also by um, measuring uh, the number of, by counting uh, uh, the number of uh, smallest boxes between R waves. This is the rhythm. So the other significance of ECG that we can uh, determine the rhythm of heart. Either heart uh, has a normal rhythm, sinus rhythm. Normal rhythm is the other name of normal rhythm is sinus rhythm. Either there is sinus rhythm, either there is tachycardia, either there is bradycardia or there is irregular heart rate. So after this, you can see also this, there is also giving uh, the values of intervals and segments. 
this is uh, the you can see here these are the parts of ECG to simplify uh, that what are uh, uh, the uh, parts of ECG and what is uh, their uh, uh, reason why these parts occur so you can see here P wave this is the P wave this is due to atrial depolarization PR segment this is due to delay at AV node I have told you that delay is of 0 0.05 seconds and it is due to why there is delay at AV node the delay at AV node is due to uh, uh, that because it gives time to the ventricles to fill with blood because it gives time to the ventricles to fill with blood that is a very important point what is AV nodal delay and what is its significance this is very important question and uh, this is QRS complex this is due to ventricular depolarization then T wave this is due to ventricular repolarization and then isoelectric point there is no electrical activity and you have uh, shown I have uh, shown that that uh, uh, that is what is U wave sometimes there is U wave after T wave which is due to slow repolarization of papillary muscle U wave uh, become prominent in hypokalemia I have told you in the previous slides that why U wave occurs significance helps in diagnosis of diseases not short test ECG normal but still disease and you can also uh, measure uh, the rhythm and heart rate from the ECG These are the patterns of uh, 12 leads uh, you can see here uh, these are uh, the precordial uh, uh, leads chest leads V1 to V6 this is the pattern you can see here this is the R wave this is the R wave QRS complex R wave is becoming more and becoming more high and V4 still high still more high and uh, you can see here this is called R wave progression R wave is uh, increasing from V1 to V4 and then slightly decrease in V5 and V6 this is the normal pattern R wave progression and you can see here the T wave on positive side T wave on positive side on upper side is positive so it is a positive wave like P wave you can see here and uh, these are the augmented uh, limb leads AVR for right foot right arm AVL for left arm and AVF for left foot and uh, in case of right foot this is neutral so there is no uh, wave in this lead this is the pattern of uh, augmented limb leads